My name is uh, Ken Greenland, I'm Managing Director of Central Engineering Design Limited. Um, back in 2002, we were approached by the DAC at Melbourne Mulberry to um, develop a prototype carousel for training dogs for detection of IEDs. Um, from then, we produced a sample that was approved by the MOD and the DSTL at uh, Fort Elstead. Um, we further won a contract with the MOD to supply the whole of the military network, um, which was successfully used in the Afghanistan campaign. And since then, we've actually supplied uh, the Metropolitan Police, the City of London Police, and um, various other um, organisations. The carousel is a search device offering dynamic training with a multiple choice concept. The carousel consistently presents odours for imprint training, as well as the ability to desensitise non target objects the dog may encounter during operational search. Working on an 18 arm carousel, distractions are placed in 17 of the 18 scent pots. The distractions chosen will depend upon the operational searches the dogs are required to perform. The distractions help to desensitise the dog against certain materials and help concentrate the focus on the target odour. In this example you will see some of the scent pots contain sealed plastic containers with liquids. The carousel trains the dog to ignore the plastic and concentrate on the scent within the liquid. In this example you'll see the dog searches the carousel with no handler influence and when he finds a target odour he indicates to his trainer that he has found the target. The trainer rewards the dog with his toy. While the dog is distracted playing with his toy the trainer rotates the carousel to a different position. The dog now has to repeat his search and find the target again. On this second attempt you'll see the dog is making a methodical search and reading the scent of each pot even to the point of revisiting and investigating until he is sure he has found the target. This alleviates a lot of the false indications in operational searches. Using the carousel brings quantifiable science into the training program. Finding the target odour for the first time the dog had a 1 in 18 chance of guessing correctly. On his second attempt, the odds increased to 1 in 324, and on his third attempt, massively increased to 1 in 5832. Putting these statistics into the equation makes the carousel a powerful tool in accrediting dogs to a standard or benchmark that can be read and understood by most organisations. This is our NATO carousel that we made for the MOD. Um, it's completely made of stainless steel with bronze bearings, so it's something that could take weather or any environmental conditions should it be left outside. As you can see, it consists of 12 arms numbered uh, 1 to 12, which can either go in a clockwise or anti clockwise direction, depending on the, the trainer and the dog training program. Each arm is extendable, um, the small screw underneath here, and the arm can be pulled down, so you can actually alter uh, the diameter of the carousel. Um, depending on the size of the room and um, how much space you've got around you. Um, another feature with this carousel is that it can be lowered straight down onto the ground so it's, it's quite comfortable with very small puppies right up to your, uh, the largest dogs that you may uh, tend to use. Um, on the lids on the carousel, each lid is held down by a mechanical spring. So if I lift this and twist it, Pop can be removed quite easily, so this pop can be sterilised. Um, it can be done cold sterilising um, with Milton or RB35, or it can be put into a simple dishwasher. And much the same with the lid. If I push down on the lid, the lid pops off, and inside the lid there's a small ball bearing with a detent, which allows it to snap back into there. Clips in there, lid lifts up, and covers over the pop. Very, very simple. Also, the dog can't knock it up, knock it off, which is very important. Some dogs are quite boisterous and will tend to crash into the carousel. Um, once the lids are all in place, uh, the carousel, sorry, the carousel can be rotated. So as the dog walks around the carousel, finds its uh, target scent. Whilst he's playing with his, his toy and he's, he's distracted, the carousel can be moved off in another direction. 
ready for the dog to come back on and, um, and find the over again. Um, we do two different types of lid um, for this carousel. This is what we call the fully perforated lid, um, which is used for, for the basic imprint training. The other type of lid we use, um, which I'll show you there, has a series of small holes and it can be closed down. So we can, as you can see, as we rotate the screw, it go right down to one hole, making it more harder for the dog to detect the odour that's inside the pot. Again, this comes off very easily. Twist the lid, pop this one off, and um, pop the other lid off. So this is a very useful piece of equipment, and it's very versatile. Um, the arms can be changed for different styles of arms for different applications. Um, one arm that we developed um, could be used for biomedical applications. Um, it's long known that dogs have a sense of detecting when their owners are not very well, even to the point where they can detect cancers. And a lot of companies, and some companies have actually proved that they can do this. So this is a, an arm that we've developed where this carousel could be used for this particular application. Um, it's very easy to remove the arms. There's one screw underneath which you um, release, which will take the arm off. If I take out these three arms, you'll see, and I'll replace them with two of the arms that we've uh, developed for this particular application. Those three arms come out. Now these are what we call baffle plates. I'll put the baffle plates in the situ. Baffle plate slides onto the arm and um, can be locked in position with that small um, small screw there and, and that screw there. Um, then the actual um, uh, medical arm can go on, like so. And then the other baffle plate will go into situ in this position. As you can see, um, the baffle plates will actually act as, uh, as a stop for the dog. So as the dog walks around the carousel, he has no choice, but the head, head needs to go in first, and both nostrils will be directed at the actual sample pots that's inside the, on the end of the arm. And I'll show you how that comes off. As you can see, there's a sample pot there, and underneath here, onto the arm. Can't quite see. There we go. So if you look down through the hole you'll see. A linear stand um, which was developed at the same time as when we did the carousel for the MOD um, again was used out in Afghanistan. Um, the beauty of the linear stand is that it can it, it's a portable set of six stands and the six stands can be taken in any sort of form or remote location and the stands can be set out, staggered, or in a, in a, in a pattern to, to form a search pattern for the dog. Um, it's adjustable, height adjustable. It can be adjusted right again, the same as the, uh, the carousel, right down onto the floor, or it can be lifted up to any given height. And again, the beam can be offset to uh, construct a search pattern um, um, for the dog. The stand is also uh, portable. So with this key, uh, as you can see the key, there's a small divot in there, which locates in the top. As you turn the key and lift, it locks in and you can't drop it. So again, it cuts down on uh, operator handling. A um, very, very simple piece of kit. Utilises the same lids and pots as the normal linear stand. Again, um, the lid can be lifted, twisted, pot removed, sterilised as need be. And, uh, and the pot lid put back on um, with the deed tent holding the thing in place. This particular arm was we were asked to develop by uh, a military customer um, for detecting very, very small, minute scents um, sealed in lunch boxes. Um, and I'll demonstrate how this works. Um, the lunch box fits in, fits in between the arm, and then adjusting the screw, you can hold the lunch box. So, you would have 12 of these arms on there, 12 lunch boxes, all absolutely identical. 
all with different types of odours in there. One will have the target odour, the other 11 will have the distractions for the dog. Um, but it, again, it has very, very useful applications. Um, one for um, obviously explosives, or um, it could even be in the prison service where inmates are hiding um, various types of narcotics in, in, into these sealed containers, because it makes it very hard for the dog to detect these very, very minute scents. Um, so again, this, is a, this will have a very, very good application um, for those, those situations. Um, also, maybe for um, customs, um, if you're looking at small packages, small boxes, it's a good piece of a training exercise for the dog to actually try and find um, the scents hidden within these boxes. In the large bag, we have the um, arms and the tripod, which is uniquely compactly packed in. 